guys thanks for coming back to see another video today is going to be my cook with me it is a little bit after 5 p.m and usually that's when i start my dinner so tonight we will be having some ribs they go in the oven i already have the oven preheated to 375 they usually take between maybe an hour hour and a half hour and 45 minutes just depends on your oven and how fast it cooks i'm also going to be putting in the oven some green beans i'm going to saute them with some butter some cooking oil and some seasonings this is when i want to show you guys how i make my um baked macaroni and cheese on top of the stove so when that time comes to do that i'll be showing you guys that and these are all my seasonings that i'll be using of course onions i use this in almost every meal my cooking oil this is for the ribs the kc masterpiece barbecue sauce this is my favorite kinder seasoning um there is one back here the buttery steakhouse it's good, but that's not the one that I use. So I went to Walmart the other day and I purchased this. This will be going on the meat and also the green beans. This is the same, as well as the garlic and herb by Dash, and then pepper, and then some onion powder. The seasonings all right in front of you will be everything that I'm using to use on my um, green beans and on my ribs. So we're gonna go ahead and get started cooking dinner. Um, I had to break the ribs apart. They were still a little bit frozen, but I did try to thaw them out maybe about 30 minutes. So the first thing I do before I put my seasoning on is to use the cooking oil. This is just olive oil that I put in this bottle. I got this from Dollar Tree. And I will add maybe a half an inch or an inch of water. I don't have any foil to put on top, but they still should come out delicious. I want them to come out tender and delicious. That is my goal, so. Okay, I do that, put the oil on, then I start off with pepper. You can use any type, but this is just the peppercorn medley. Season to you guys liking. I do love my food seasoned, but not too seasoned. Okay. And then I'm gonna start off with the garlic and herb by, used to be Mrs. Dash, but by Dash. Then some onion powder. Then just some parsley flakes, which everyone knows this doesn't really do anything but just make it pretty. That's about it. So what are you guys cooking for dinner? Are you guys cooking at home? Are you eating out? Let me know in the comments below. To be honest, you guys, I'd rather cook at home. I have eaten out plenty of times in my life, but I just love being in my own kitchen, in my own space, preparing my food. Okay, now we're gonna put the buttery garlic and herb on. And then I believe that's it. This is everything that's going on here now. I'm gonna cut up the onions, put those on top of there, and then let these start cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and put the milk back in the fridge and the cheese. I don't want it to get too warm for the mac and cheese. That'll probably be the last thing that I cook because it's not gonna take long. So when this is halfway done, I'll go ahead and get my green beans put in there. I'll show you guys how I do those. And then when they're finished, I'll start the mac and cheese on top of the stove. Okay, so we have maybe about 25, 30 more minutes um, for the ribs to get finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out, 
put the barbecue sauce on them, go ahead and get my green beans prepared and then put in the oven. So it's the same process as the seasons that I put on my ribs. I'll be doing the same thing with the green beans. Starting off with some olive oil. I usually would add onions, but this time, since I put a lot on my ribs, I'll just opt out on putting them on the green beans just this time. So these will cook 20 to 25 minutes. Um, and then about time the ribs are done, these should be done, and then we have to cook the macaroni and cheese, and that will be it. All right, so now before I get the elbow noodles rinsed out in the sink, I have the um, stove on high just to get the water to boiling. I will be adding some salt. You can use salt, oil, or butter um, so the noodles won't stick. So we're gonna do that and then rinse the noodles off, get those started. Um, it should be halfway about time the food is finished when this will get done. So mainly I'm just trying to make sure everything gets done close around the same time. Check it on the ribs. Those are done. Um, I think I'm gonna pull those out. I don't want them burnt. I want them falling off the bone. And the green beans, they look like they have maybe about five more minutes left to cook. Okay, the noodles are rinsed and drained once again. I still have it on high because as I add the milk and the cheese, I want it to instantly melt and come together. And then I'll turn it down low to cook for a few minutes and that will be it. So I use heavy whipping cream. And you guys, to be honest, I don't really measure too much. I just eyeball it. And I'm going to be adding one large tablespoon of butter. So we'll just have to give that time to marinate together. Then when it starts boiling, I'll just add the cheese and go from there. You guys see that? That noodle fell on the floor, I'll get it. So I'm gonna start off adding some Kobe Jack. To be honest, I'll probably use almost all of this cheese, but that's okay. 
Okay, it's a big pot. I might not have to, it just depends. Is that a stir? Once you stir and the cheese is, you know, mixed in together, you'll be able to see how much that you still have to add. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down since it came to a full boil and it is going to be on four and a half. I got it on four and a half. You guys can see the cheese is already, yeah. Oh, there goes another noodle. Okay, now I'm going to add real quick. Taking a little bit fast. Some Fiesta bread. And I just covered the top just like you would if it was in the oven. And yes, this is a lot of cheese. This is just like if you are baking in the oven. You can add the parsley. I'm going to put some parsley in here. And I'm not going to put pepper. Usually I will, but since my greens are already seasoned and my barbecue ribs, I don't want to have all that pepper. So you guys can look. See all that cheese? <laughs> That's enough. I don't, I'm not going to add any more cheese or milk. This is good enough. But I am going to add real quick some parsley. Just for the presentation, that's all. Mix that in real good. And guys, it's 7.56 p.m. at night. <laughs> Dinner is late for us. We usually don't eat this late. I mean, there has been days, but I try to, usually I try to get it done. But this is it, y'all. If y'all can see how it is following the cheese. Yeah, that's how I make it. And my kids love it, so I decided I was gonna go ahead and make it again. And that is it. I will show you guys a close-up. Let me get all this stuff put up. Yep, and dinner is done. We are ready to go. I just wanna turn it off. <laughs> all right, you guys. So this is what I made for my family for dinner. We have some seasoned green beans that's baked in the oven, some barbecue ribs, and some macaroni and cheese on the stovetop. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope to see you guys on the next video. If you like videos like these, please let me know by giving me a like, um, comment, share, and also subscribe. Thank you guys, and I will see you on the next video. Remember to take care, stay positive. God bless. Bye, you guys.